Paslan Maskerim'den merhaba, ben Emre Karacıoğlu. Bugün Hard Rock ve Metal efsanesi Blaze ile beraberiz. First questions first, how did the idea of getting together with Thomas first appear? Well actually it was Tom's idea. He has a project called Nylon Maiden and he's a classical guitarist, classically trained. He wanted to put an album together. His favorite band is Iron Maiden. And he asked me if I would come along and sing one of the songs on his album for him. And he also learned a song of mine. And we we worked it out and went along to the studio it, it sounded great the Klansman was the song we did I think and it's soundtracks of my life was the song of mine that he learnt and we did that too and they just sounded absolutely great it felt really good I'd never sung before with classical acoustic and it, it was a really good feeling and we got along very well and that was the start of the collaboration then when I was thinking about doing something I asked Tom would you like to be involved in this I'm making an album and writing some songs and so it, it just went on from there really. Was that about December wind? Uh, the last well, well what happened was we've done quite a few different things and I wanted to do a new acoustic album, classical acoustic, with Tom's guitar and also violin. The unique thing about the way that Tom plays is he mixes in this flamenco style to the regular classical. And as we work together, I'm a, a producer, a record producer and a songwriter. So my ideas, I can say, Oh, I'd like to hear it like this. Is that even possible? And then he'll go, well, and about half an hour later, there you've got this magnificent thing and arrangements filled with energy and a dynamic from the softest to the most aggressive, all done on that guitar. And the texture of the voice and the guitar mixes together very well. So we spent two weeks well i think it was three weeks we had the end of a part of a tour and then i stayed with tom and we worked on the songs it was very intense so you'd wake up and then the other one would go morning you know i've been thinking about that bit on crimson tide maybe <laughs> and uh, oh, oh i've been and we'd be just having our dinner and then one of us would say Oh, you know that song? Maybe we could try the lyric in a different way and put... So it was very intense. But I think it was a great creative experience as well. We spent all our time together and we worked on constantly refining and polishing the songs until we came up with something that we're very, very proud of. I recorded the vocals in my home studio in Birmingham with Chris Appleton, who is my guitarist in my regular metal band. Tom recorded all of his parts in his home studio and then we got them all together and mixed them and then Tom came over for a few days as well. And It was, it was a great time. An album that we just found the time to do Let's, and it was there and it came out great. So it's something I'm very proud of and on this tour of Turkey then we're playing a mixture really some of my songs yeah. some of the songs that we've done together for December Wind and some of the songs that Thomas arranged and are on his album well having listened to your collaborations in the past I can confidently say that the uh, songs that you wrote together sound flawless and really seamless thank you very much it's a great compliment thank you <laughs> What were the 
criteria then in selecting songs from uh, from your background and from uh, Iron Maiden were, were there any any criteria that you follow it, it's emotional it's an emotional thing my voice has changed so much when I joined Iron Maiden working with Steve Harris as a producer and a songwriter he found other parts of my voice that I'd never used before and that was very exciting but after Iron Maiden my style continued to develop so the voice that I have now the voice that I have to sing and record with is much more than what I had when I recorded those two albums with Iron Maiden it's developed it's grown so what I did was right which song do I feel that with all the areas of my voice that I have now the things that I can use the different sounds which one do I want to go back to and say come on let's dust this off and give it a new treatment the same song with the same arrangement but a different texture to the voice and so that's that's how we chose them I see all right mm -hmm. I'd like to also ask you about uh, your solo career, which includes the uh, Silicon Messiah, your debut as a solo artist. And next year is the 20th anniversary of, uh, of the of the album. Do you have any plans for? Well, anything? you're a little bit late because we did a 15th anniversary <laughs> tour of the Silicon True. Messiah album, and we played the album from start to f the hot. We played every song from the album not necessarily in that order and mix yeah. them in with a regular set and it was the 15th anniversary of Silicon Messiah and it was fantastic because the album failed when it came out we I didn't get a good reaction I wasn't in a lot of magazines it got some good reviews but there was no tour to go with it at the time that it was released I had nothing was booked and then I managed to get uh, an appearance at Vacken Festival and pick up another couple yes. of things sure. afterwards. So that was always very disappointing because my heart and soul went into the album and I've always felt it was such good work that I did and many of the ideas came from ideas I was hoping to work with Dave Murray and Steve Harris and Yannick Gers from Iron Maiden. I thought they'd be on a, a future Iron Maiden album. So I used those ideas on Silicon Messiah and I was very frustrated that it didn't do well. But that's the circumstances. Then years later, the license is over with the record company. I'm independent. I own the recording again. It's completely mine and I did the tour. And that tour, the 15th anniversary, was 35 shows all over Europe where I played everything from the album, and it was great. Next year is the anniversary tour of 10th Dimension. Dimension. That's my favorite from your solo career. Thank you. Actually. So we'll be doing more or less the same, playing just about every song from the album. Also, we released the album on vinyl for the first time, a limited edition mm -hmm. vinyl, and we'll be doing the 10th Dimension anniversary tour. So I'm very excited about that. It's nice when you come back to things. We have one of the songs from that album on the December Wind yes. CD. It's a very, very special arrangement of Stealing Time which works incredible. You wouldn't believe that it would work so well, but it sounds complete with violin and classical guitar. And um, that was really good to do. So I, I'm looking forward to the 10th that I mentioned to it, singing some of those older songs, looking at them again, giving them fresh clothes, and doing those for the fans. That's very good to hear, Blaze. Saints and sinners
there's also a part of your career which I find, I mean, I made an aside, your solo career aside, but you also had a band called Wolf Spain, which, you, if you ask me, knew how to rock. That was a, quite a rocking band. Yeah. And I think you are busy with, with them as well at the moment. What we try to do is get together every year to do new material and do a few tour dates, but it's so difficult to get four grown men with different lives when you're four young men and you're not married and don't have kids and don't have a home of your own then that's not so difficult but we've all got very different lives and i'm very very lucky that my solo career is actually my day job so it's difficult to fit things in we have a show booked in great yarmouth for next year and uh, what we're gonna do is try and get together to record some new material. It's been cooking for some time. Yeah, we, we had an anniversary get together and we've got an album called Wolf Spain Saves the World, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. And we have an EP called Did It For The Money. Uh, so it, it's, we're, we're very proud of the work we've done and the new Wolf Spain material just has as much energy as the old Wolfsbane material because we kind of go back in our minds to that delinquent young attitude of angst where we don't really care about anything. So um, it, it's good, it's a lot of fun and sometimes we do a Wolfsbane song in the acoustic yes. set as well. Without a conscience they destroy and that's a thing Last but not least, when you look back at your musical career, um, including your time with Iron Maiden on the two albums, uh, your Wolf Spain and, and your, and your uh, solo career, is there a time, is there a period where you feel absolutely content and you admit to yourself that you um, accomplished what you always intended? I think and I won't accept, I won't accept, Blaze, every period as an answer. No, I, I think what's happened to me and the things that I've gone through with my mental health problems and the tragedies of my life has always been reflected in my work. Coming to this period and doing my Infinite Entanglement trilogy, which is three albums, one concept, one story about a man who does not know if he is human. A man who has an awful past and seeks redemption. To be the producer of those three albums and write those songs and do that on my own time scale that I wanted to do, that is the greatest achievement of my career. As Blaze. As Blaze, yeah, because I'm independent, I'm not crowdfunded or anybody else. The people that support me are my fans directly because I get the money for the CDs and the t-shirts, nobody else. I am the record company. So when fans spend money on the ticket for the show, on the CD, on the t-shirt, they're supporting me directly. So I'm very, very lucky to have this incredible support that makes it possible for me to be a full-time heavy metal singer. It is a job that I dreamed of when I was a young man. And I've been full-time off and on through my career with different bands. And now I am a full-time independent heavy metal singer making my own albums. If I wanted to make three albums in three years and do three tours and I was on a conventional normal label they would say let's hear the first album and see how it does I wasn't in that situation I said to my fans I want to do this and they said we'll support you I made my first album people sent money in and they bought their albums in advance even though it was only an idea and the second and the third so all three parts each one 
comes out in March because I wanted it to and I wanted to do the tour. So all of the songs that tell that story and that there's one that we're performing tonight that's what will come that I wrote with Thomas. All of those songs pulled together as a period of my work. That's the thing that I feel is my greatest achievement. Those three albums together. It has different styles. It has all of the influence from Iron Maiden and some of the things that I learned writing with Steve Harris. It goes from acoustic to aggressive heavy metal and tells a story of basically someone struggling with their identity and that's a thing that I've struggled with and I know many many people say well who am I really and where am I going and what does my life mean and is my life meaningful is it worth it that's a, a human question and I feel with my infinite entanglement trilogy that that's the closest I've got to coming up with some kind of reconciliation of that question. What you say makes a lot of sense and it was a very solid response and I think that's the reason why you call your fans actually the king of metal. Yes, it's um, something that went a little bit wrong for me with uh, the company that I was with at the time that people didn't understand that there is a song that describes the fans and calls the fans the king of metal and people in the media got the idea that I was calling myself the king of metal which is absolutely not true I'm not the king of metal the people that make heavy metal possible are heavy metal fans they are the kings they make it all possible because without their support there are no heavy metal bands heavy metal will not survive so the fans are the king of metal and I think for some reason that message got lost at the time at the time now we know please it's been a genuine pleasure and an honor to be speaking with you thank, thank you, you very, much. very much good luck thank you Thank you.